Previously on Backyard Survivor. After Lev was voted out of the game, Zack was the last purple standing. As a Survivor fan, I know I'm not making it to the end of this game, but by God, I'm gonna try. And Kath and Ben solidified their rivalry. So I mean, she back go get that immunity now, kill us. After the split vote wasn't carried through correctly, Trying to wrangle the numbers with these people is like trying to herd goats in the middle of the desert. Andrew began to look for more options. I'm going to do the same to um, stay longer. When Hal won immunity, he chose Ben and Jake to join him for the reward, leaving a disgruntled Samara back at camp. But that's why I surprised he went for the reward. Sending the other three to exile. And it is the most awkward conversation of my life. And despite her best efforts to formulate a plan, well, we might as well get Ben out or try to get Ben out. The tribe got their way and voted out Kath. For the second time. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of heading back to camp, another twist was revealed. You guys ready for another challenge? Yeah. All right. It's happening right here, right now. Ooh. And then we all go straight yeah. back to it. Yeah. Who will win? And who? will be voted out next. Are you guys ready to get to your next immunity challenge? Yeah. Yes. Oh, very nice. I've decided to go. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> you are about to compete in a Survivor Trivia quiz. You'll write down your answer, and then when we say reveal, you all show it to us. Yes. Yeah. So if you get the question wrong, you're out. Last person still in, we win individual immunity. Oh. All good? Wicked. Number one. Oh, and it's multiple choice as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first question is, who was the winner? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> who, was, who was the winner of the second season of Australian Survivor? Was it A, Sarah Tillicky? Was it B, Tara Pitt? Was it C, Luke Toki? Or was it D, Jericho Malabonga? Was it oh, you no, just A B S? How put it down? Reveal all the same time. Choice. Cool. Yep. Cool. Reveal. D T. So oh. right. Zach gets it right. Zach gets it right. <laughs> Zach gets it right. <laughs> Caitlin gets it wrong. Andrew gets it right. Hell gets it right. Samara gets it wrong. Raph right. Jake right. And then it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Stop. Are you listening? Who was the returning American player in season three of Australian Survivor? Was it A, Boston Rob Mariano, B, Sari Fields, C, Russell Hans, or D, Russell Swan? Has everybody written something down? Hold on. Yeah. Reveal. C, 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 C. Everyone gets it right except yeah. Raph. That is out. <laughs> Who was the first winner of US Survivor? Was it A. Kelly Wigglesworth? Was it B. Kelly Goldsmith? Was it C. Richard Hatch? Or was it D. Kimmy Kappenberg? Everyone read something? Okay, reveal. C. C. All right. The correct answer is C, Richard Hatch. Go down to two. Zach versus Andrews. Are you ready? Okay. Who is the only player in US Survivor history to be voted out first twice? Is it A, Francesca Hoagie? B, Andrea Belke? C, John Cochran? Or D, Philip Shepard? Now, once you've both got them, both got them, reveal. A both say is A. Correct. A is correct. <laughs> so it's named the season of US Survivor where two people left the game before they were even divided into tribes. So was it A, Panama, Exile Island? Was it B, Palau? Was it C, Cook Island? Or was it D, Thailand? Alright. Reveal.
reveal. We have different answers. The correct answer is B, Palau. Zach, we're out of the challenge. Andrew, come and get your prize. Oh, someone has to take it off for us. Andrew, you are safe from the boat. Sit back down. All right. For one of you, this will be the end of the road. Do we need to discuss? Does anyone want to say anything before we get to the boat? <laughs> Shall we get to it? Yep. All right. Ben. ben. All right, hit up up. Oranges for life. <laughs> If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. goes. We will revote. You can only vote for Zach or Ben. Andrew is still immune. Zach and Ben, because you can, I can only vote for each other, you will not vote. Everybody else will revote. Cool. All right, but Jake, you are up. Please take the hand. Head over.
Now, once again, we'll read the votes. First vote. Zach. Ben. One vote, Zach. One vote, Ben. Ben. Two votes, Ben. One vote, Zach. Three votes left. Ben. That's three votes, Ben. One vote, Zach. And two votes left. Ben, that's enough. Oh. Please bring us your torch. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ben, oh. Ben. the tribe has spoken. Oh, Pleasure, guys. Pleasure. Off I go. Ciao! I'm going home! <laughs> <laughs> Have a cigarette for me. <laughs> Alright, so, loyalty, huh? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see what you guys have to say to each other when you get back to camp. Head on out. Wow, that's it. That's it, folks. That's all you get from me. Well, hey, look, it's what it was. There is only one soul survivor. It's just not my time just yet. I love Backyard Survivor. Kyle and Brian, hands down to them. Like, they know what they're doing and it's been a pleasure to play. And to them, by all means. I had a good game. I really enjoyed my game. Um, yeah, I just, I'm here to give it a go get stuck in, make some friends. Yeah, I loved it. I'd either say Jake or Hal to win, for sure. Sorry buddy, gotta go with the majority. <laughs> And I'll be back. Don't you worry about that. I'll see you soon. Yeah, that council was hectic as f. I want to hear the explanation straight from the horse's mouth. Um, I was not expecting it to go that way. I had like a bit of a final three path with, with Ben, so it's kind of a bit of a curveball for me. I'm, I'm a bit nervous about the next few steps because I know that they're going to start gunning for me, so I've got an idol, I just have to play it at the right time. As you know, we all got split up in three, yeah, yeah. and we had. Zach and Ka uh, Catherine, Ka uh, Ka Kathy, <laughs> yes. Kathy, yeah. go off. And we know from Samara and a few other people, Ben had a. People had said Ben was quite shady in his deeds. We had a bit of an alliance, me and Ben and um, Jake and. And 
I just I didn't trust Ben from a couple of rounds ago, so I thought if it, the opportunity's there, I'm gonna strike. So I did. I think I'm in a bit of trouble now because I'm the one that switched modes. I don't know what Jake and um, Hal think about that, but we'll have to see. And we thought this would be the time if he had an idol. Don't forget, he went to Exile Island all by himself. We were worried he had an idol. We voted out Ben just because um, we heard that he didn't seem very trustworthy. So we thought it would be an opportunity to um, yeah, vote him out at this point. It's down to the nitty gritty now. Um, so yeah, getting nervous. He was slippery, I'll give yeah. you that. He was slippery. Just, you have to cut it, the head off I the just, snake. <laughs> Tell me, do I look pretty in shell? So we won immunity. Well, I won immunity as evidenced here. But more importantly, we had a vote that might have changed things. We took out Ben, but this was because he was known to be disloyal and untrustworthy. So this maintains the narrative we've been saying, loyalty to Orange. He was disloyal, we took him out. Are you next? I'm going just uh, I'm still here, bitches. I don't even know who voted with me. Andrew in the ropes challenge was like, what if we started working together? What if we were, were working with each other? Um, and I was like, yeah, why not? Like, let's do it. Like, he was like, no one will ever suspect it. And I think he really wanted to get Ben out. I voted Ben. Yeah. Just because I knew that we couldn't trust him too much. On the second vote? Both. Oh, on both, okay. Yeah. So when I was in exile with um, Catherine and Caitlin, me and Caitlin got the opportunity to chat. And I was like, look, tell him whatever is good. Like, I'm good to go with you guys. Or like, I want to work with you if you're still open to that. And then they mouthed Ben when I got into tribal. When I looked back in that second tribal and I was like, sweet, I'm just going to have to roll with it. So I'm stoked. I think the game's blown wide open now and I have a shot of at least making it another couple votes. Um, so we'll see what happens. I literally went to the voting booth, booth like the voting zone, and I was like, I have no idea who I'm voting for. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thankful for is the people lined up when I said, trust me to get rid of Ben, and we did. We did the job. They risked going to rocks, but that we did the job in the end. So from now on, we're progressing on. Please. Go. So, tribal, we were planning on taking Kath out. Um, the only reason why we take, won't take her out is just easy option. <laughs> like, I actually don't think she did anything wrong since she's come back. Um, it's just we had to pick someone and it was an easy target and it was we didn't have to think and just go for it. But no one's voted for me so far at all since the start of the game. <laughs> but I'm still here. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I have some concerns with certain people who went. I, I went to rocks with that were willing to throw out the old orange team. And when you sniff the rat, you have to clean the house of the rats. And this is what I'll be proposing. I hope it's endorsed by the committee and we'll move on from there. Come on in guys. <laughs> Andrew, we're going to need to take that necklace back. Individual immunity is back up for grabs. This challenge will test your memory. There are 21 buckets with an item underneath each one. Each round, we will designate a required item. On our go, you will race out and attempt to retrieve that item from under the buckets. One person will miss out each round and be eliminated. The last player standing will win individual immunity. So, your first item that you're looking for is a chain. Survivor's ready. Go! Mara's got one. Elise's got one. Jake's got one. Zach's got one. One more. Go! I don't have one. 
time we are looking for a tennis ball. So I was ready. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Farah has one. Jake has one. Lynn has one. Matt has one. Sorry. You are looking for three ropes. Survive is ready. Go. No. Three different ropes? I no, just did looking for one rope to bring it back. Jake has one. Oh, yes. Where is Mara has one. that you're looking for. It is a clear bottle. The line is ready. Go. Oh, has it. Map has it. All right, Jay, you're out. Take a seat. You're looking for a snooker ball. The line is ready. Go. Oh, oh, I got it! Oh. Oh. Rap has it! Rap has it! Wait! No! Stop! Yep. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Let me find. You good? No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, cool. safe from the vote. Guaranteed spot in the no, final no. six. For the rest of you, one of you, going home. Right. Send you back to camp, figure it out, see you at tribal. So we did a challenge and I won. So I have immunity for the um, next tribal council. Um, which I mean is cool, but also I actually don't really care because we already knew we were bringing the Zach anyway, so I know it's not going to get voted out. Five would be nice. You know? Well, you can't all be nice. I know, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's cool. But if you want to flip from a three, to like split it to a four, I'm happy to be bottom of a four. So my plan was to win that immunity challenge, which I didn't. Um, so going back to camp, I don't know, it's kind of awkward. We've literally got like two meters to try and strategize and it's like really difficult to do. Like you said, you I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of worried to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what that other guy Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. That's, that's cool. It's not looking good for me right now, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. What are you thinking? I don't know. Okay. Well, that's, that's a me. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, oh, I don't know, which is exactly what I would do to someone if I was going to vote them out. Because no, I, I think I'm going next, which is fine. But look how far we've come. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sounds like a nice thing to say to, to someone you're just about to boot off. God damn it, I'm like f***ed right now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing. Yeah, that's what he said. He was like, oh, you've done so well, dude. I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's not what I said. I said look how far we've come. Look how far we've come. Yeah. I think it was like three to that. I think so. Uh, I think it's, it's working. Mm. <laughs> I think the next vote is a simple vote. You know, put that in the shelf and bank it. I don't know if they burn that because we've got a lady in the box. I don't know what you Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's just a mess. <laughs> hot mess. <laughs> We're a hot mess. <laughs> what I'm thinking of is what we do after that. I like customs of the three. Um, I don't know yet. The only thing is, I don't think at the end we'll get to get five three. Us three. Um, when we need to see things. <laughs> I'm still thinking of final three, but what I'm finding is people aren't quite receptive to uh, making any binds or commitment. I just need to think about it. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Um, so yeah, Andrew pulled me aside 
um, with Samara. Yeah, he proposed like a, us three as a final three, and she seemed a bit non-committal. Yeah, wary of that. He's already asked to do like a girl's alive at the end. <laughs> like maybe oh, really? and Caitlin, I said I have to think about it because I don't think it's going to be that. Yeah, yeah, wow. Well. Yeah. I'm happy with you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, like I do respect his gameplay. He's been a really good gameplay. To be honest, I wouldn't mind going to the final three with him. He mentioned to her, like, him and Girls Alliance. And she was like, no, okay. she wants, she wants him next. with us. Andrew next then. So look at your final three, and then use me as the fourth oh, to get man. you there, and then just cut me. Yeah. Like... That's, that's what I would do with me right now. Because yeah. otherwise I'm going against anyway. Like, I'm an open boat. No one no one's asked me to do anything. So if you want to make a move for your resume, you want to get your three that you want, like, just <laughs> let me know. You just send me there. I don't know what we're going to go with. Um, going to the tribal council. I don't know. I guess hopefully the survivor gods will give me a little bit of luck. Morning, guys. <laughs> I'd like to pick up uh, from last tribal council. Zach, you seem pretty convinced that you're going home. It went to a tie and you're still here. Mm. Surprised? Maybe not so much. <laughs> Maybe I put in a bit more of... I mean, yeah, I was surprised a bit. <laughs> I'm surprised it worked out. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was good. It wasn't, I mean, I was part of the vote, so I wasn't too surprised. Yeah, great. How are you feeling this time? Oh, terrible. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> no, um, it's like when you walk up to people and you're like, oh, what's the vote going to be? And they're like, oh, I don't know. And you're like, uh, that's what I was saying to people when they were the person going out. You know? <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> you're like, mm. No. Um, and I kind of got like dead ends everywhere. So I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for your boys leaving right now. No. Um, but, you know, I feel like, you know, all of these guys can go to the end together. I mean, we're at six and I, you know, I can see the division, uh, we're at seven, seven, well, we're there almost at six, um, but I can see there's still divisions there, like there's still people on the bottom of that six. Do you want to name them? Uh, yeah, these guys over here, like, are all working together, I reckon, and, um, I don't know, I feel like Caitlin and and yeah, might not be as safe as they feel like they are. Alright, so how does that make you feel, Caitlin? Um, yeah. I actually don't feel that safe, to be honest. Um, that's what I would say to that. Yeah. And Andrew? What I say is keep hope alive. <laughs> keep hope alive. <laughs> What you do is you surround the city and keep bombarding. That's all you can do. You can't expect nothing more and hope the city falls. So I'm keeping hope alive. But I feel like you're firing blanks, right? You know, like we say, like we say in an election, the ultimate test will be what the ballot says. Mm. And that ballot's going to me and that's not really shooting at the castle, is it? Well, you know, I think, you know, you look at what the composition is here, the composition is over there. You are the, a guaranteed winner if we keep you here. We have purple, a wave of purple. It would make Prince proud, you know. <laughs> and I think, you know, it would be remiss of us if we kept you around. Okay. Like, I, I get that, and I feel like, sure, maybe don't take me to the final three, like, totally understand that, but when you're losing a number that's so malleable right now, what what have you got to lose by keeping me one more vote to 
to use that to shoot down that castle. I feel like two or three immunities in a row, that's what. <laughs> I haven't won any, but sure. You could win anything. We don't know what's next. This is the unknown unknown. <laughs> you could win and become this challenge beast. And we must mitigate the risk. Okay. Okay. I don't know who we is that you're specifically talking about if you are on the outside of that castle. Or maybe you're more inside than I think. What like, I'm saying is that from a... If you take a holistic perspective, look at the wider landscape. Oh, that, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, yeah. I, I think there is a mutual interest for everyone here to make sure a purple person isn't still here. Let's be clear about it. Sure, at the, maybe at the final three, but why is, why is that come into playing in the final seven? Because all you need is four immunities to four go your immunities. way. Four immunities. I think you're a very a strong person. I think you're a strong person. And I wouldn't rule out anyone here from winning immunity. We've all seen different people have won time after time. So you can't bank on the fact we'll wait till four, we'll wait till five to get rid of you. Because that you're just letting a risk go unmitigated. Okay. It's like I don't know if I'm the only risk in the tribe, though. That's a valid point. Yeah. So, um, you're saying you're not the only one who would be a threat to, to make it to the end. Where, I mean, where I'm are the other I'm threats? Threat. I'm not really a, I don't feel like I'm a threat in the... Like, yeah, sure. Getting to the end, sure. Probably would be a threat, right? I can see your point there. I... I well, the other threats I see, like... My boy over here is like a... <laughs> massive challenge beast and I feel like <laughs> yeah two I don't want anything <laughs> does anyone want to chime in here before we get to this next vote Samara anything to add oh we're going to be more specific than that uh, <laughs> we're going to stop the castles back there Hell, <laughs> <laughs> cool. um, look nothing is ever set in stone um, but look we'll just have to wait and see what happens all right uh, <laughs> so, Raph, <laughs> Raph, you have uh, individual immunity, so you cannot be voted for unless you want to give the necklace away to someone else. Uh, no, I'm cool now. <laughs> cool, great. All right, you cannot vote for Raph. Anyone else is fair game. Let's get to the vote. Al, you're up. Cool. has a hidden immunity idol and they would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. So close to the end. All remaining orange plus Exa. <laughs> Half of you are going to be in the final three. 
That's how close we got. All right, head back to camp. Oh man, I like I gave it my best shot. Um, obviously knew it was coming for me. I felt like I had an understanding of where all the votes were going throughout the season, so I was happy with that. You, you live and you learn, and um, I think getting to, to seven, yeah, is really cool. So coming in as a super fan, under the rate of super fan, um, like I'd run my own backyard survivor type thing before with my friends, and I'm like, obviously this is way better, so. Um, I'm very impressed and just happy to be invited to be a part of it. You've done really well, no matter what happens. Someone you'll be rooting for? Oh, I don't know, I've been aligned and then f***ed over by almost all of them. Like, I think... Can I say that? Is that alright? I think... Oh, it's such a tough question. No, I'm, I'm gonna just say I'm open. I'm open to hearing the final three. Um, I... I really like Jake, like I'm super pumped about the final six so I'm not going to be bitter at all, I wish them all the best of luck and um, I'm happy that I'm the last purple, I'm just happy I made it this far. <laughs> Next time on the finale of Backyard Survivor Season 3, Exile. The time has come for the final six to turn on each other and duke it out for the title of Soul Survivor. Halim. From the beginning, Hal had an uphill battle. However, his charisma allowed him to infiltrate the Orange Alliance, whilst his cunningness propelled him through the individual game. I tried to give her my fake idol. I have a couple of them in the idol. And so told me that she's got a real idol, um, so that kind of changes things. Will he make it to the final three, or will he be the next casualty of original Orange to the end? Raphael. In a historic Backyard Survivor moment, we are deadlocked. Raph made one thing clear, that he's not afraid to play big Reveal. and risk it all. That's okay. Having escaped elimination last round with an immunity win, can Wrath continue to dodge bullets and sit in the final three, or will his fate finally catch up to him? Samara. Coming into the game without any survivor knowledge, Samara quickly proved herself. And made herself an essential part of a strong alliance. Having played her cards close to her chest, can she bluff her way to the jackpot at the end? Or will her competitors force her to fold? Look, we don't have a lot of time. I'm happy with that. Andrew. Since the beginning of the game, Andrew has had a clear game plan. We're going to rid this place of purple, and it'll be orange, a wave of orange, till the site can see. And has masterminded the demise of anyone who threatened it. But with only his allies left, can Andrew continue to clear a path to the end, or will his own loyalty be his downfall? Caitlin, An underdog from the beginning, Caitlin tucked herself under the wing of the game's most dominant player. I, I for me, when I think about sub-alliances, I, I see myself partnered with Kat. There is a symbiotic harmony between us. He's been looking out for me <laughs> all day. And has purposely hid behind him for protection. A strong social threat, Caitlin has been able to disarm her alliance into underestimating her. Like, if we don't do anything, she's going to go until the end. <laughs> but I think she's fine. As midnight hits, it's time for Caitlin to emerge from Andrew's shadows and prove herself worthy of the title of Soul Survivor. Jake. Throughout the season, Jake has dominated the physical game. Oh, oh. how drops! First immunity of Mitch. <laughs> and has won over his tribe mate's trust. Yeah, but now we've got Jake! <laughs> Currently in the possession of an idol and half the super idol. The super idol can be played after the burst in red and before the castaway's torch has been snuffed. Jake is locked and loaded. With a growing target on his back, will his allies continue to stand by his side or will they finally 
take the shot. Check his best on Um, yeah, I do. After 17 hours, the remaining six contestants enter the home stretch. All with unique stories, and all with the claim to the title of Soul Survivor. Everything they've done, every move they've made, every alliance they've formed, every challenge they've won, it all comes down to this. Winner of Backyard Survivor Season 3. Join us next time for the finale of Backyard Survivor Exile. This is very Everything heavy. fine for the sound. It must be per lesson. Higher? Your love lift me higher than I've ever been lifted before. Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Air and I'm Brian. I'm Kyle. And this is the after show where we break down the votes of the episode. Episode 9, penultimate Ooh. episode. Mm, good one. Before we dive in, our Indiegogo campaign is about to end. So if you would like to support the show financially, now is the time to do so. And any amount that you can contribute helps us subsidize the cost of running the next season. Thank you. And if you wanted to play on Backyard Survivor Season 4, uh, you still have a chance. We are closing the applications on the 1st of December. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not far <laughs> until then. So uh, you just need to send in around about a 30 second video. Um, tell us who you are, what you do, and why you want to play. Yeah, do it now. Mm. Don't say like, oh, I'll get around to it. Do it now. Mm, yeah, don't watch season four being like, that could have been me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's dive in. Were we too aggressive? <laughs> So, very exciting start to this episode. We are gonna see Zach just miss out on immunity and just when you think he's dead in the water, mm. uh -uh, he <laughs> is going to survive this vote. So we will see Andrew, Caitlin and Raph team up with Zach. So um, Andrew, Caitlin and Raph are on the Swap Tribe together. Team up with Zach to um, put votes against Ben, uh, Samara, Jake, Ben and Hal, who were all on the Swap Tribe together, will continue with what they thought the plan was, which was to vote out Zach, which ties it up. And so on the re-vote, Jake and Samara are going to flip their votes um, onto Ben, sending him home. Yeah, which for Samara, she talked about Ben a few times throughout where seeing him as a sneaky character didn't really trust him. She was just left out of that reward as well. Yes. You know, so like Ben got included in that and she thought that she was in with that three. So an opportunity to take out Ben, she strikes. Jake, on the other hand, literally just sat and ate muffins with Ben. Yeah. about half an hour before this vote mm -hmm. um, but like we heard him say he just wants to go with the majority right now and he saw the majority going that way so he turned on his ally also what's really sad for ben here obviously he didn't know he was going to go home he had the steal a vote advantage mm. so he goes home with that if he had have used it at that tribal council he could have saved himself opportunity was there he had it but he waited too long so we see that majority orange split for this vote mm. uh, with Ben. Ultimately, they're gonna come back together. I think just for the six of them, it was so down the line in that Zach cannot be anywhere close to the end. Yeah. I, like Andrew said, he is the guaranteed winner in the final tribal council. The risk of him being there in the final three with all this purple on the jury. Yeah. Um, yeah, was too scary for anyone to let him get that opportunity to go forward. What's interesting though is that because they all pile the votes on Zach, we don't have a good insight on who is ready to turn on who. Because yeah. what we are going into the finale with is three people from one swap tribe, three people from the other swap tribe. They all started together. Mm -hmm. There are cracks there. We've just yeah. seen Jake quite happily flip on someone. Yeah. Hal wasn't there from the beginning. Samara will take down whoever she needs to to get to the end. Andrew is making um, final three wheeling and dealings. Yeah. Um, Caitlin is is like quite willing to play an under the radar game to get to the end mm -hmm. um, and Raph has already identified that Andrew will take him down like Andrew yeah. was about to take him down but Raph knows that it's coming yeah. so th there are these six people who are very dynamic who have all been focused on taking out purple and now the time has come <laughs> for them to turn on each other yeah and I feel like these six have gotten there and it's kind of like okay like 
half of you are gonna make the final three and the other half are gonna fall just short. So have you made the right plans? Like is your final three deal with the right people? Did you just get rid of someone that was seeing you in their end game, um, you know, by taking out Ben, by taking out Zach? Like they could be the numbers that people needed. I think they're also going into the finale underestimating the power that their peers have. Hal, Jake and Samara have not shared with each other that they have an idol. The only idol that everyone is aware of is the one that Jake found in front of Hal and Samara. Andrew, yep. Caitlin and Raph don't even know about that one. So we are one episode away from finding out who is the winner of Backyard Survivor Season 3 Exile. We have some huge targets, some huge threats, some under-the-radar players. Mm -hmm. um, it is an exciting finale. It is a funny finale. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we really hope that you enjoy it, and we will catch you next week. Next time you see us, you'll know who the winner is. Yeah, yeah. And also, just like, this is like a wild jury as well. Yes. Um, so like, the jury alone made this finale. Yeah, so the only person who won't be on the jury is Liv, so mm -hmm. everyone sticks around. Yeah. And uh, for a lot of them, they were on Muramoto, so they don't have any allegiance to anyone sitting on the final three, so they are ready to give it to them. <laughs> yeah. All right, tune in next week where you will find out the winner. See ya. Bye.